Praise to be your Lord. Um, St. Matthew chapter 7, verses 1 to 12. Do not judge others so that God will not judge you, for God will judge you in the same way you judge others. And he will apply to you the same rules you apply to others. Why then do you look at the speck in your brother's eyes and pay no attention to the log in your own eye? How dare you say to your brother, please let me take that speck out of your eye. And when you have a log in your own eye, you hypocrite. You first take the log out of your own eye and then you will be, you'll be able to see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to dogs. They will only turn and attack you. Do not throw your pearls in front of pigs. They will only trample them underfoot. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks us will receive. And anyone who seeks will find. And the door will be opened to him who knocks. Would any of you who are who are fathers give your son a stone when he asks for bread? Or would you give him a snake when he asks for a fish? As bad as you are, you know how to give good things to your children. How much more then will, you, will your father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Do for others what you want them to do. For you, this is the meaning of the law of Moses and the teachings of the prophet. So in this passage, Jesus teaches his disciples about the importance of treating others with kindness and compassion. He begins by cautioning them not to judge others for judge others, for they too will be judged in the same standard. Jesus reminds his followers that before pointing out the speck in their brother's eyes or log in their brother's eyes, they must first remove the plank from their own eye. This is a powerful reminder that we are all imperfect and we should approach others with humility and grace. Jesus goes on to teach his disciples about the importance of prayer and seeking God's guidance. He assures them that if they ask, seek and knock, God will answer their prayers and provide them with what they need. He also emphasizes the golden rule treating others as he would like to be treated and encourage his followers to love their neighbors as themselves. As I reflect on this passage, I'm struck by the relevance of Jesus' teaching of our world today. In a time when decisiveness and judgment seem to be on the rise, Jesus' message of kindness, humility, and love is more important than ever. It is easy to fall into the trap of judgment, others, or assuming that we are better than those around us. But Jesus reminds us that we are all equal in the God's eyes. Furthermore, Jesus' emphasis on the prayer and seeking God's guidance is a powerful reminder of the importance of cultivating a deep and meaningful relationship with God. When we approach others with humility and seek God's guidance in our interactions with them, we are more likely to respond with kindness and compassion rather than judgment and condemnation. Overall, this passage is a powerful reminder of the importance of treating others with kindness, compassion, of seeking God's guidance in our lives and of loving our neighbors as ourselves. As we navigate the challenges of our world, we may be inspired by Jesus' teaching and seek out to live his message of love, grace, and humility in all what we do. Thank you. Thank you.